Hello and welcome to the first match in the struggle with the Buffalo Lord. Um, yep. There would have been a deck tech for this already, but in case people do not know, the the struggle is a show that I do that uh, we look at one of the not as easily picked up cards, usually rares or legendaries rank or er, rated things a uh, rarity excuse me um that nobody's used anything with and we attempt to find a way to use them um we don't have any diamond which would mean we don't have any way of really tapping these things we're also against another uh josephina We're going second. Why don't we replace this hand? Um, that's much better. We have some removal in case we we need it. Um, we can also lead off with the coins. All right, this looks like something I went up against earlier. I did a couple testing with this deck just to make sure that everything was functional, that it didn't just fall flat on its face, and it did seem to work. This might just be a bad week for it um as you saw on the deck tech this um the buffalo Lord is a two three for four which sounds pretty bad um but it's a unique buffalo beast that has digilance summon a random buffalo non-unique so you can't get another buffalo Lord and kill him um and then depending on the type of buffalo the uh the different shard type you get a different response or a different ability on all of your buffalo lord um or all of your buffalo not just your buffalo lord um so we're trying to take a full advantage of the diligence aspects we have llama herders and several of the outposts and commander prompt just as a great card for any place we're going to go wide um stuff like that Um, okay, I think we're gonna just lead off with the Cultivator then, um, and hopefully they don't have any response to that, but this will be a pretty, um, good roadblock for these. They can lose one, they can also do a bunch of, bunch of fancy things. Um, currently looks like Mono Diamond, and I think with it having a Way Party Guide, is or a War Party Guide, not a Way Party, um, it is looking like it's the Mono Diamond version of this. Um, I, what I, uh, played against earlier was a, um, a Ruby Diamond version, and needless to say, Lasgar's Vengeance is still good. Yeah, that's the that's the big thing. Um, we're playing Skittering Cultivator because it's got good uh, diligence. I think we're just gonna be on the block right here. I would rather. I should probably just get rid of the Intrepid Conjurer, to be frank. Although Mono Diamond tends to run Diamond's favor, which means these decrees are not going to be that good at all. But if they're just happy to keep playing like guides and stuff I think we're gonna cycle these uh, Wakuna coins to get a llama herder that's real nice um, do I want to throw out the buffalo lord first or do I want to throw out the llama herder We probably just want to throw out the herder first. Um, I think I am going to use the decree of banishing just to get rid of the conjurer. It'll feel bad if they have like a diamond's favor or if they have something like I don't know, like a 
they could have a lot of things. If they have William Ronan or the daughter of a poet. Um, let's see. If I tap this down, I won't be able to block anything. Um, not profitably. But I could get two spider or two dreadlings, which then commanded prompt will do a lot of damage on a crackback. Um, I think we'll do it. We can lose four life or however much they decide to to go with for the the opportunity to go with commander prompt. Like if they do this, attack, get our daughter with poet. Thing. The problem is that they're going to potentially draw two cards. Um, but I'm okay with risking that. It's probably the wrong idea, but... I think we're going to swing for enough on the following turn that it will be fine. Yeah, we're going to play another diamond. Um... Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to be throwing out that. We're going to try to capitalize. and This is still like we're trying to win the game. So this is more of like a diligence matchup. And I missed a point of damage. So that's okay. We can use that to block. And mainly because uh, how hard Commander Prompts lets all of our troops hit, it's going to... It's more of that. It is a diamond or a mono... Uh, Ruby version, which means they could have stuff like Lasgar's Vengeance, but they're playing a Moonrise Elder. Moonrise Elder is a four cost, three, four, that creates a Valor for each tr uh, Ardent troop that they have. Um, and then when this attacks, ready all of them. Okay, so they're going to get three Valors right now. Um, if they Valor one of these up, I can still block. So it looks like they're going to do going to do this, going to make it harder for me to attack in next turn, which is pretty good. Um, but we have the llamas. We also have a second decree of banishing, which we're going to get rid of that. Let's see. We're going to not make a mistake this time, and we're going to. Uh, we're gonna charge up the llama herder, and the buffalo lord's just going. Nah, uh, we can we can also do this. I forgot about this. So we're gonna get that buffalo lord in this time. Um, um, let's see if we attack with commander prompt. We will get, uh, let's see, this is 6, 3, 3, 3. That'll be enough. If they can't block and kill Commander Prompt and live. Yeah, so let's force them to double block. Yeah, I think I did my math right. Um, yeah, they have to double block. Or not double block, they have to... Yeah, so they're they're just dying. Sweet. Uh, Lasgar's vengeance is a big problem, though. So we don't really want that. Um, let's see. Valorous stuff is going to be a problem. Um. Let's see. Do we just want martyrs or do we want to actually bring in transmog? We might bring in a couple of transmogs. Um, uh, do we want the professor? Professor blocks decently well. We, I don't think we want that. Um, Um, I think we're going to take out one of the Buffalo Lords, and then we're going to bring in two Transmogs, or maybe two Martyrs. I think we're going to take in, bring in two Martyrs. Um, it'll help both the, uh, the Buffalo Lord, um, and Commander Prompt is really kind of a key here to help us 
outlast Alasgar's Vengeance, because that's the last thing we want. It also let our Scattering Cultivators and our uh, Buffalo Lords make buff the Buffalo survive things a lot more. Um, I think, yeah, I think we can keep this. Um, So yeah, Diligence Plan, we have the Professor, which is going to be a 3-1 when we play it. Or a 1-3, excuse me. 1-3, help us with blocking. Um, but Diligence Plan is the main thing. We're going to leave off on this Prism to get a Sapphire. Because we don't quite have... Um, I guess now, I guess I was looking at it earlier that we didn't do it. Um, we could probably run... I'd have to look at the count, really. But we could probably run the human um, shard. It'd be a little bit risky, and the uh, the prism shards are a little bit better to be safer. Um, do we want to... I think we just want to run out the llama herder. And then next turn we can put out the exalted professor um, and use it to pump up the llama herder. Yep, I have two different arts of llama herder because... Surprisingly, I couldn't get. I had two of these before, and the uh, alternate art. I think there's just a ton on the uh, marketplace right now. So I think we're gonna play out these so we could potentially play the Buffalo Lord on the next turn. Um, we're gonna play the Professor right now, and then just since they don't really have any aggression at the moment. kind of leave our board open so if they want to have like a righteous outlaw or something like that they can just kind of skate on through yeah let's see humans we have the llama herder we have the professor um interplay exhausted uh that kind of helps us in a way not not in the most beneficial way but it does a little bit steadfast and speed is going to be annoying though does mean we don't get full advantage of the Llama Herder. So, if I would... <sighs> See, the problem is, do I just want to decree that away? Which I think the proper answer is yes. That is probably the smart answer. Leave up murder if I need it. And we'll just crack for three. Don't need to exhaust them um, as it's going to be the same damage regardless. Heart of Embers. It's pretty good. We'll probably need to martyr whatever he's going to attack. Um... Which is going to make the rest of the things hard to um, hard to use. Um, alternatively, we could have brought that back with the wish, but I will save that for other things. Um, we got a psychic ascension. Okay. Um, Let's see, if we play the Buffalo Lord, we can tap them all down, which I think we'll do. If they have another Valor, it's going to probably kill our Buffalo Lord. Ah, uh, wait, it's going to have one more power. I am kind of glad now that I did do that. Draw lots of shards. Um, I think we're fine if we take four. We're currently ahead in the damage race, so... Uh, yeah. Only thing Heart of Embers can do is shoot our Llama down right now, or just to our face, which will hurt. Seven damage won't be, is nothing to scoff at, um, but it'll be fine. Um, also, as you can see on the side, we, we, if you watch Jeff Hogan, Jeff Hogan has been making a tool that, uh, will display deck lists on the, uh, 
left or you could do it anywhere, but it'll display the, your deck list on the screen. Um, so I'm taking advantage of that. It'll update in real time whenever we go to uh, reserves. Or, yeah. So it should have updated already. Doesn't look like it actually had. Um, that sucks. That's okay. That also sucks. That sucks more that we just... Oh, how I hate Lasgar's Vengeance. Um, yeah, we need to stall a bit. So we can only get three coster back. I guess that means we're probably going to get the Professor. Just because he's going to generate the most value. The other targets we have is the Llama. We're torn general. Um, that guy is annoying. The wise magistrate is super annoying. Kind of really mad now that that the consult just bought us a bunch of of uh, shards. Bring back the professor. And we're just going to flood out, so that'll be good. At least we'll eventually get to our Psychic Ascension, then. Um, I probably should have saved the Martyr and just uh, taken the Wish and uh, bring something back. That's unfortunate, but okay. Hero of Legend. I wonder if this is the logical uh, consequence of, of the... Uh, what am I trying to say? My brain is just dying here. Um, logical consequence of the Empress deck that you play. Kind of this aggressive... It's more mid-range. There goes my professor. Um, I don't think we'll live. Yeah, we're dead here. Never mind. I was like, I don't think we'll live long enough to play the Psychic Ascension, which is true. We won't. Um, it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, psychic Ascension would have been like a, a great like alternative sort of thing, but it's not going to get us anywhere right now. Um, Martyr did help, but not entirely in the way that I wanted to. Um, I'm also going to, this is the first time I'm using Jeff's tool, so I think I'm going to mess around with it a bit. Um, we probably don't need Treacherous Pass. We probably should just bring in the Transmog, leave in one uh, Monastery, just as that extra tapping effect. Um, we also have tapping in Consult and Cosmic Talons. Um, it might just be a deck to bring in some adjudicators since we're it's a little bit more aggressive against us um but that would probably have us taking out the buffalo lord because commander prompt really helps us against lasgar's vengeance and uh, this doesn't that just helps us again uh, we don't really need to do that it's basically we're dead we're dead if we have creatures on the the if we have troops on the the field then we aren't going to die yeah that's that's basically the gist of it um we might not want martyr then like it helped a little bit but not totally um we might just want a uh, verdict of kings and just hold that up and be like no not let's go vengeance um, so we're going to confirm here, and then we're going to look at this, um, and we're going to try to change this to be last 
Do we want last deck? Excellent. Let's see. This should have three Buffalord. Um, two Verdict. Yeah, this looks like the correct thing. Um, let's reposition that down a little bit. I'm going to go first. So now we're going first. And... That doesn't seem like the worst hand. Probably should mulligan. But we're also going first. And it can be pretty aggressive. This isn't going to have its gem, but it doesn't really need its gem unless they start having things. But if we can go Skittering Cold Valera, Commander Prompt, boom. That'd be good. Conjure. Um... Could get really out of hand. Doesn't have a way of consistently making uh, Valors yet. So that's it. And we're going to hold it down for a bit with this Cultivator. And then more Torn General. But we're going to have a Decree. Well, we don't have a Decree. we got to hope to get a Shard out of this, which we don't. Um, so we're probably going to be in more of a problematic place. Um, I think I'm actually going to hold these coins up and surprise them if they go into attack. Because we'll have some dreadlings that we can block with. Second, uh, Conjure, which is going to make a Valor, which means they're going to Valor up something. Make a copy. Make that a 2-2. Have another Conjurer. Jeez. Um, if they attack with this, I am totally going to double block that. Let's just do it like that. Um, let's just go with Commander Prompt. They kind they can't just like Lasgar's Vengeance. Um, because we have a way of, well, not really dealing with it, but we have a way to use it to, to com combat against it if they attack and we kill some things and then they do it. That's going to be unfortunate, which is why we're holding up another, we're not playing that, that second cultivator. Um, so we actually have something to do after the Lasgar's Vengeance because they always have a Lasgar's Vengeance. They always have a Lasgar's Vengeance. Um, let's see, do I take six and get rid of the two things that still... Yeah, I think I do. So hopefully, this is going to get rid of two of the things. Lasgar's Vengeance. Gosh, I'm good at this. Slash, it's... This is a dumb card. I, I'm just... That's a dumb card. As the only card in current uh, standard that I wouldn't mind going away. <laughs> like, four... If it was three damage to everything, I'd be more okay with that. Three damage... 3 damage to just my... If it was 4 damage to everything, or 3 damage to just your opponents, and 3 damage to your opponent, either of those I would be fine, because it's really hard to get above 4. 
<laughs> but that being said, it's fine. It at least kills both crusaders, but because of that, it basically become it basically comes down to who has the best thing. Fortunately for us, we have a transmog or fade. Uh, do I want to consult and let myself be attacked for a bunch? I think no. Probably just keep up this. I'm going to transmog before blocks. So if we can block and kill it, we probably will. I probably should. <sighs> I'm just in an awkward spot right now because we don't have a diamond. Which is part of the problem with being in um, Diamond Sapphire without having humans or coyotes. <coughs> which might ultimately be the downfall of this Diligence Buffalo deck is that it doesn't quite fit here. Um, the beauty of the Buffalord is that you can basically do, you can put it in anything, but I just felt that like with Llama Herder it might be the better, and then there's like other things that can really benefit from having, um, Diligence activated multiple times. Diamond Shard! Decree of Banishing, get rid of that. And then we'll play this Hilltop Monastery. And... It'll be fine. No, we don't need to. We can just block. They're going to be able to create lots of, uh, of conjurers this turn, though. That is that is part of the problem. But we'll be okay. I hope. Definitely no, no problems in my voice. We're definitely gonna be okay. Uh, Heart of Embers, really? Really? Shoot him. Great. Conjure's a pretty cool card, though. Um... Gonna exhaust this, we're gonna get some dreadlings. We are going to die. So I think we have to do this out of sheer need for something. Which we don't really get. Um, we'll play Commander Prompt. Play this Well of Purpose. Um, guess we'll do it to the Heart of Embers. We just need a stall. And the monastery is there, I mean, the Valors will help. Uh, the monastery is there for being some way of exhausting our troops to trigger diligence more. Just to my face. I think we just lose. I think we were already dead on board. <laughs> 